This is a fan-made Red Dead Redemption game with sheriffs, horse riding, and much more, made in only a week. Since it's really tough to make a game like this so quickly, I teamed up with Paul Nathan. He's a seriously skilled virtual reality dev, and together we challenged ourselves to make a bug-free Red Dead clone from scratch in just one week. It's day one, and today's important to set ourselves up strong for the next few days. Luckily, we found awesome Old West models for our game. I really liked trees, so I added some, but they weren't very desert-like, so we replaced them with mountain ranges instead. And now we have a character controller, but there's still a ton of changes coming in the next few days. We started off today with motion blur and sprinting. Hope you believe in telepathic shooting, as we haven't added a gun yet, but NPCs can die. This is easy to do by using a ragdoll. And Paul gave the main character a more cowboyish look, although the ragdoll might need some work. Okay, that's better. I feel like this shouldn't be so satisfying. Next up is adding horses. Red Dead has beautiful horses, and well, our game has horses at least. As you may know, I'm not the best animator. I added horse riding and it works uh, great. Okay, we'll get back to this later. We sort of improved horse riding overnight, and now it's time for a wanted system. Kill someone and you'll get a bounty. Paul also added this sweet gun to the game, so sadly no more invisible gun. I also added the sheriff model to the game and gave him a gun. Tomorrow we'll make the sheriff shoot when you have a bounty. The sheriff now rotates to follow you, and will appear behind you when you kill an NPC. He also gets this cool muzzle flash and can hit you. The game wouldn't be fun without death, so this happens now. And while I did that, Paul improved horse riding. Uh, there we go. And combined all together, we can get some pretty cool footage. There's only two days left and it's time to add a mission. We used Unity's built-in nav mesh so the AI could be smart like me and avoid objects. Look at that NPC run away and avoid all the obstacles. It also works great when he gets shot. We'll fix that. The basic idea is you'll need to chase a bandit, kill him, and then lose the sheriffs to beat the mission. Once you kill the bandit, you'll get a bounty. And tomorrow, we need to finish the mission before time's up. Today's the last day, and it's time to finish the mission. Now there's helper text, and the minimap properly shows your objective. And you could also die, or pass the mission if you like winning. We found sound effects and added them for horse riding, shooting your gun, and even dying. That's it, time's up. Make sure to check out and subscribe to Paul's channel. And if you thought we did a good job in one week, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.